That's better. Before we get into this video, make sure you are subscribed and let's keep it fuerte. Right. One of the great things that you guys can expect as a member of the Latino Slant is exclusive videos. So make sure you stick around to the end of this video for some exclusive content. But you got to be a member. You got to be a member. So make sure you're a member right now. Now, for this video, I asked the question in a poll recently. Should Spain apologize to Mexico for the conquest that happened 500 years ago? That's right, 500 years ago. Before we get to the results, let me give you guys some context. A few weeks ago, the new president of Mexico, Scheinbaum, got uh, inaugural address and all that stuff. And they asked her, what's well, one of the first things you want to do? She says, Spain should apologize to Mexico. Now, this is part of a five-year thing that's been going on since 2018, 2019. Her predecessor uh, had asked the same thing in a letter that's been some kind of like, you know, uh, cheeky uh, back and forth between the Spanish government, between the Spanish royalty and Mexico. Well, kind of chiming in with uh, Hispanic Heritage Day and uh, Heritage Month, then Columbus Day, then Indigenous Day, all those days. Spain did something very, very funny, right? They, they, uh, and they being you know, some, some, not, not the Spanish government, someone that paid for advertisement in, in, in Spain says, we're not partying, we're not going to beg for forgiveness for nothing. I mean, that was it. And there's like a whole video ads and all those campaigns. I'm going to have those links in the video box description. So, I took it upon myself to ask you guys, should they apologize? ¿Qué pasó? And wow, here are the results, guys. One of the, the probably the biggest results we've ever gotten, us, little old us, ever gotten in a poll on X Twitter. There are the results. 2,381 votes. Over 14,000 views, all that, all those impressions, and make sure you guys are following us on X. Uh, should Spain officially apologize to Mexico for the conquest over 500 years ago? 5.8 of you guys, 5.8% said yes, you should apologize. I apologize, do apologize, I apologize. 94, 94.2% said absolutely not. Spain should not apologize. And we went down a rabbit hole of a lot of uh, uh, comments and opinions. Some insightful, some kind of uh, not so much. I didn't care for, but people spoke their minds. And here is that uh, ad campaign I told you about in Spain. Nadia, por lo que perder, perder, excuse me, perdón. And you got the, uh, you know, you got the, uh, what do you call it? The, the uh, Cortez's ships there. Listen, this uh, sparked a big, big, big uh, reaction as far as uh, Columbus Day and Indigenous Day. I will, I'm going to, I'm going to address some of those issues in another video. But here is the results, resounding results saying 94.2% 90, of the 2,381 votes. Say, absolutely not. There's nothing to apologize for. That's how you guys felt. Uh, kind of the same results on our YouTube. I did a separate YouTube uh, poll as well. And personally, as a Chicano, as a, someone who's a direct descendant of these bloodlines, Spanish, indigenous Mexico, living, born and, born and bred in America, I have to agree. There is no reason why Spain should should uh, apologize. It's it's ridiculous. You know, Mexico won its independence from Spain uh, by 1821. And, you know, for the last 200 years, it's been a tumultuous time in Mexico's history. That really has directly affected the United States of America as well. So, you you know, it's a it's a potentially very rich and uh, prosperous country that just doesn't take care of its own people. And that is the, that's the bottom line. That's your priority, Shine Bomb, is you're, you're poor, 
you're missing women, you're missing children, the the uh, the abject poverty of the indigenous population there. You 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 want to take care. You know what? You want to apologize to the to the indigenous people there because there's still millions of them, millions, right? And 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 so many indigenous dialects are spoken still to this day in Mexico. I mean, millions of people. You need to take care of them. You and your government can do that. Forget Spain. Don't worry about Spain. You take care of your own people today. And uh, yeah, that would that would be number one. And that actually would be uh, fantastic as far as uh, its direct effects uh, between Mexico and the United States uh, in migration and work and people and safety, crime, violence. Asking for Spain to give a for to get to to do a formal apology is absolutely ridiculous at this day and age. I, I just don't get this leader uh, as that that being your, your thing out the gate. That's that's the first thing that you bring up. So I took it to 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 our Twitter account or our X account and you guys have spoken. What do you guys think right now? Let me know uh, what you guys think of uh, of that poll. What are your feelings on that? Should they apologize? I don't think they should. I think it's ridiculous. Okay. Coming up right now, if you are a member, there is a brand new video that we are doing exclusively just for you. If you are a member right now, click on through and enjoy. And if you're not, become a member today. Wherever you're at, keep your slam fuerte. Gracias. That's better. Crack up.